Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Ken's Tech Review. Now today we're going to be looking at a custom ROM called Dirty Unicorns. I don't know where the developer got that name from, but hey, we're rolling with it. So this ROM has given me quite a bit of trouble through the last couple of weeks I had it on my phone. I don't know why, maybe I did a, a wrong flash or something like that, but even right now as I'm recording this video, my phone is beginning to heat up and my fingers at the back of the phone is beginning to heat up for some reason. I don't know why. Um, during this week, this past two weeks that I had on my phone, I have been experiencing crashes, lag, and uh, maybe the sort of stuff that I have, the certain tweaks that I will go through in a minute, maybe it's because of those that I may be experiencing a little bit of lag or whatever the case may be. Um, but you know, for right now, let's just jump right into it. So the first section I'm going to be covering is called customization. So customization of this ROM is pretty unique, I must say. That's why I didn't get that and so decided not to do a video on it and just done with it. I decided to continue with it and go on and see what I can get and how, what it can do for my phone. So the first thing I'm going to notice is that purple bar at the top of the phone near notification section. Now that bar there is basically the lifeline of the battery. I was supposed to put it there and take off my battery percentage, but I didn't get around to it. But is there so it's, it's basically the back percentage you could change different colors you leave it black white whatever you want to leave it standard and that's basically just going to show you the back the back of life according to the length of the top of the phone so that's a pretty neat feature instead of having to you know look at the percentage or whatever that's something to make your phone a little different now the next thing you're going to notice is the bottom of the by the navigation bar now the navigation bar is kind of different so you see it's kind of like a, a swipe feature whereas you can swipe from different directions to go back or swipe from one direction to go into multitasking which is it's pretty cool i i must say and i had some problems with it at first where i would try to, if i would type and i type in something and i, I will touch the corner here where you see the most of the yellow the blue uh, color come from uh i will touch there and it will always you know give me trouble and i i, I found it hard to you know navigate and every time i type in on whatsapp or facebook or whatever my hand will touch somewhere at the bottom here it will go back to the home screen it was very annoying so what i had to do i had to go in settings i had to change it to actually be to three seconds first to get the home button so i'm going to show you guys in a minute but i had if say it was in here my hand will actually touch it it will go back to home so you see now that i'm tapping it it doesn't move i have to actually hold it to three seconds and it'll go back home and i prefer it that way because it works better it works a lot better than actually having to you know go into the different prep kick and uh, going back to home screen or whatever the case may be so so you see i easily jumped into battery there uh that kind of shot me i didn't know that but whatever so i'm going to turn about phone and stuff i'm going to show you guys basically the ministry is running android 6.0 marshmallow if i didn't mention the beginning of the video this is the official version 10.02 10.2 sorry so it's official version and it's, it's to me it's still it's, it's stable i guess for standard use but when you get into like hectic apps and like how many notifications and stuff are coming you now and i begin to multitask on instagram facebook whatever the case may be i begin i just begin to see this lag and stuttering it and i don't really like it at all but you know what are you gonna do demonstrating the customization you know we have teams we have dirty tweets so that's going to go into dirty tweets now and this is like general ui is the first tab you agree to it so you have to slide across get a different tabs and there's a whole bunch of customization i'm only be covering a few but there's a whole lot of customization going on in this in this uh rom so the first one is missed tweets so you could uh enable disable action for the task manager you can use the toast icon you can use a flashlight notification when you have on the flashlight so there's like different miscellaneous stuff you could do on your home screen status bar whatever the case may be and just set it and lcd density if you guys know from my previous video especially chroma i always I just like to set my words smaller and stuff because i don't really use a privacy screen so if on a bus or whatever i'm going and people are looking across at your phone seeing who you're to you're typing to who you're talking to or whatever it kind of be it could kind of annoying when you want to keep that sort of stuff private so i kind of changed the density, the density of my lcd to be a small density but since i saw this one on this rom i didn't do it for this rom but you know i i I'd sure it works fine so going on to lock screen you could add mid screen shortcuts which i did i think are off for right now i know that how the older uh android roms android 4.0 kick and, and those they had the mid screen different 
shortcuts that you could go to but in in android marshmallows they're at the bottom so you can easily set it back to add my screen uh, shortcuts and so on you can have lnr buttons which are the, the, the left and right buttons at the bottom which is, this is what i was talking about that marshmallow has these buttons at the bottom here you can do uh you can go into lock screen wall uh you could change the media art of the lock screen and the wallpaper and set new wallpaper and stuff from here uh you could set a lock screen tart so when your phone is off you can hold the screen down and just turn on the flashlight which is which i find is pretty cool so that's the cover a few you could change the better widgets color and fonts all that stuff so this rom is it covers a lot i could say that for uh for a fact this rom does cover a lot but i guess it's not for my phone the nexus 4 i don't think it's optimizing it to its full potential but carrying on so the battery of course you can change the color of the battery bar that i see that i have on there you could take off the i could actually put this to hidden so that's what, that's what i want to do take off the battery bar there and i could, uh, I could just monitor, monitor my battery percentage by the purple bar at the top so i like that there you could change the thickness of it or whatever you want to do moving on now you could change the look you could put a logo at the top i, I got confused a minute right there so all this different stuff you can change of course you can change the color of the clock and date uh you can change the status bar status bar items and whatever you want to do show what shows up at notification and what doesn't traffic indicators for like lte when you guys are on data you want to know what's going on what's uploading what's coming down all that stuff you can put on or take off and navigation bar let's see we have two modes we have the regular smart bar which you will use or you can go into fling which i find fling to be a new feature and i didn't really see it in a lot of other roms so i decided you know what why not try it so i've been using it for the last couple of days as i said over the place of place of two weeks and i found it to work very fine it still doesn't it doesn't be slim pie from uh, the slim roms but i find it to if it, if it works it works i'll say it works so you can change the buttons as well for the smart bar and you can show and choose your point button to wake up the device or the control playback music whatever the case may be you want to do all that is, is very fine so we have multi, the multitasking tab here so we have heads up notifications which is pop up like whatsapp we were just able to reply with all actually opening the whole app you can choose a do not disturb app or whatever the case would be to come up notifications coming in and all that other stuff so here you see you have app circle launcher touching right after after you set the screen so this is to touch if you wanted to to bring in certain stuff from the side uh, app launcher or the case to be you could use that I don't think I'm a big fan of it, so I'm gonna turn it off. I mean, I guess it's a star like the Slim Play, but I Slim Play also has the navigation bar on it, so I don't really like to have other things along with that on my Slim Play. Like, it does look kind of confusing. So you have gesture anywhere, so you can just gesture on on the home screen to get certain apps to open or whatever. You have the multi window, so if you're a person that has a phone that has a lot of RAM, I will say, because I won't use it, I won't do it on this, on this Nexus 4 because I, I find it lags, as I said a lot of times in this video before, so I guess I'll stop saying it now. And it has Omni Switch. So, this Omni Switch is what you're seeing. If you notice this little green thing on the side of my, on the right hand side of the screen, that's actually Omni Switch, which is this overlay here. It's pretty cool i found that when this got it shows you the more ram is used and i found that sometimes when it had a lot of apps open it will, it will jump up quick to uh one point something 1.7 gigs of ram use and when it gets to that point yeah my phone is stuck and i have to hard reset it so i don't know what is the problem if there's optimizing i guess it probably keeps apps in memory for longer or better than it should but i can't can't really complain too much about it i guess but it's there uh, i've been using that for a while i found it to be easy go to for my um recent stuff and like easy clear all and what i like about this part here is that i can actually open any app from my app drawer from right here so i can scroll to any single app that i want to open right from this part right here so i don't have to go to the home screen so say i'm in a, i'm in an app here and i want to get to say whatsapp or something i can just go here look for whatsapp open whatsapp say i want to get to my calendar i can easily come here and go to my calendar or whatever the case may be so it is very 
very, 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 very well said. It works. I would say it's, it's not really like a gimmick or anything like that. It really works. So I don't really have to go into too much detail about that. It just looks really cool, simple. Not too much going on. You could clear the realm. You could clear whatever you have here by using the X there. You could pin, screen pinning. If you guys are into that stuff, screening pins, uh, screen pin in a certain app to stay open or whatever. So you can also en enable the Omni recents to show for your actual recent. So I could actually turn it on here. So when I turn it on here, it will actually show my actual Omni recents instead of showing my regular recent tab, which is this tab. So I find out that that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to leave that on for the time being. So, continue along, you know, probably just gonna skip a few here. Let's mention a few. It has expanded desktop, you know, system app remover, all of those stuff. You have your download center and what's not. So, for customization, uh, it's pretty deep. I want, I want, like, not like deep, deep, like knowledge deep, but, you know, deep enough that you have, you have enough to play around with to make your phone unique to the other person's phone next to you. So in this day and age, a lot of people having the same phone, maybe a lot of variety coming in the market now, but not as prominent as other, other big brands out there. So you're going to have somebody else walking on the phone with the same Exis or maybe Exis Edge you has, or Apple phone, well, I can't say Apple, I'm doing Android, a Samsung phone or a Nexus, and you're going to say, well, what, what can I do to make mine different? And a customer might be your answer. So another the other part of customization what I would go into would be to go into teams. So I'm gonna go back into my settings tab real quick. Uh open teams and see I have the system default by default. I never I didn't put on teams on my device up to this point for the purpose of the video. So I'm just gonna apply the lunar one. I hope it doesn't stick the uh recording. Uh if anything, uh we'll be right back. But for now, let's apply it. Everything still looks like it's going. Remove some stuff here. And I don't know if you guys saw that just now, but I kind of like a lag, a little lag there. But that's probably because it was a plan of team. So here it is a brand new phone you have without even doing much. It just, it looks cool, I guess. Yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. Kind of childish in a way. I, I kind of like, you know, I'm not saying I'm too old or whatever. But I don't really like the whole uh, cartoonizing of the icon, so to speak. I like to keep my, my stuff simple. So, it's okay, it's okay. So some icons look different. Uh, others, no, well, not, I guess not icons, the app chart look different. And the the display of the different tabs that you're on, the display screens you're on, have to look X and all. Uh, so yeah, that's it for teams. You can see I guess settings and stuff also change as well So here you see everything change everything looks different So That's it for customization and uh, it, it looks good. It looks it looks good I mean in terms of having teams and all this customization going on you can really do a lot with this device like uh, with this, this custom ROM so next category I'm going to go into is called battery life so battery life on this has been okay I didn't have any problems but I can say for a fact I can't judge category 2 to uh, correctly or precisely is because I walk, I walk around with a power bank most of the time and if you guys are interested in product power banks or what I use if you do could ask me in the comment section below but for now I just use power banks and stuff and my, my phone gets slow I think I said oh, lock in this video, that's kind of annoying. So, coming along, it's just this ROM has uh, last me through the whole day. I can say when I unplug my phone at, in the morning around 7 or whatever, and I go through my whole day, it lasts me about till, yeah, till, till 7, 8 at night time. Yeah, so it lasts me pretty good in a uh, good 12 hours. I would say, uh, not heavy usage, but it, yeah, normal usage. Uh, maybe asking phone calls, a few WhatsApp messages here and there. It will yeah, last you the whole day, and if it doesn't, I also have my power bank on the side, so I can't complain about battery life there. And I want to address something real quick in terms of uh, my my previous video. I think I had a, a person come in and say that Dart Team doesn't really help battery life much. In some cases, yes, I understand. I understand what you guys are saying. Is an old phone, the LCD isn't that bright or that uh, that good resolution, so therefore then dark teams wouldn't really do much. 
but in the case of like this phone it yes it doesn't do much like a significant amount like if i had a light team and then all of a sudden i go to a dark team i'm going to save 50 percent battery life i'm not saying that i'm saying that every single bit of battery life counts and a dark team if it saves you 0.5 of battery life it saves you battery life so that is just my take on that whatever you guys want to say on that but that is me and if i'm if i put on a dark team i realize my phone is lasting you know about maybe 30 minutes longer than it would last if i don't like team it's a little bit better life and it's, it's an improvement so i'm going to take it take my victories wherever i can so that's it for this video guys mention make sure to check out dirty unicorns for some reason it's called dirty unicorns and if you like this video be sure to leave you a thumbs up and if you could guys can just subscribe if you're new here uh because i realize most of my viewers are not actually subscribers due to youtube analytics so if you guys are new here you like this video want to see more custom roms in the future maybe there's some different forms and stuff coming up be sure to subscribe for more videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace